Hi there, and welcome to this month's special feature crib documentary, brought to you from the beautiful Lake District, home of the world famous Beatrix Potter. Beatrix is one of the world's most beloved English figures of children's literature, and this year marks the 150th year since her birth. Having grown up reading the tales of Peter Rabbit, Jeremy Fisher and so many other classics by Miss Potter, not to mention owning a Peter Rabbit cup toy and blanket, I couldn't help but want to celebrate her amazing canon of work and share my experience at the World of Beatrix Potter attraction in the Lake District. Beatrix has written 24 children's books, but is best known for the tale of Peter Rabbit of which over 45 million copies have been sold worldwide in more than 35 languages, with four books being sold every minute. Although she never went to school, Beatrix was an intelligent and hardworking student, and her parents employed an art teacher to nurture her love for drawing and painting. Beatrix could often be found sketching and painting her many pets, which included rabbits, mice, frogs, lizards, snakes, and bats! 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 Beatrix wasn't just an artist. Later in life, she became an award-winning sheep farmer. For Beatrix, success did not come easy. She faced a number of obstacles to become the legend we now know her to be. She had to overcome rejection, academic humiliation, personal heartbreak, going on to earn her huge fortune and reputation. So here we are, the fantastic world of Beatrix Potter, a real celebration of her works, which includes all 23 tales, brought to life, complete with sights, sounds, and even smells. I don't agree, I'm afraid. I think I smell quite nice. The exhibition is split up into eight areas, the first being the welcome video, followed by glimpses into the lives of her beloved characters. So I'm here with Roger Glossop, divisor and designer of the show and director of the World of Beatrix Potter attraction. I'm not very tall. Shall we swap over? OK. That's much better. So, what got you into Beatrix Potter? Well, I really do like the little books. She paints the most beautiful watercolours. And the stories are not all they seem. They're not just the Flopsy Bunnies about animal life. It's about foxes that invite ducks to dinner. So now I'm on stage with the cast of Where's Peter Rabbit? And I've just seen their amazing show. So not being biased about your own characters, but who's your favourite puppet out of all? Jeremy. 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 <laughs> so, are you happy with how the show went? Good audience reaction? <laughs> and no technical hitches? That's good. So, we're just about all wrapped up now. Today we met Peter Rabbit in Mr McGregor's garden, discovered Jemima Puddleduck in the Woodland Glade, and even visited Mrs Tiggy Winkle while she did her laundry in her kitchen. We think the Beatrix Potter exhibition deserves a big thumbs up. It really brings to life all the beauty, magic and enchantment of her creativity and personality and I would recommend it to anyone who has at any point in their childhood been a fan of her amazing books. So, this is Tess, and Peter Rabbit of course, reporting for the crib at the World of Beatrix Potter attraction. Bye!